Hello guys, after this tremendous intro out of the way, hello and welcome back to another video. Today will be a special one, a bit of a, a different style. But first, this is the building montage of the bike you saw in the intro and the thumbnail and the title. And on the top right you can see the lodge, because the, the focus of this video is the bike. So I just cut the launch in there so you can see it. But also the bike has a bunch of uh, really interesting building techniques I used. For instance, I built the steering wheel out of um, thermal experiment thingies. You will see it later. Later. So yeah, what are we going to do today? We will fly to Ike, the moon of Duna, with a little special guest on board. You will see, or better said, hear him later. And you will also see a surface base I built. Uh, maybe a year ago so that will be interesting for you but I don't have a video of it so I thought I'd just show it off here you know but yeah this is the bike and the challenge that we will attempt in today's video is how fast can this bike go on Ike the Ike bike that was <laughs> this stupid word play was my inspiration for the video an Ike bike and we, we will see how fast it can go and how much pain it will cost us to go uh, as fast <laughs> so um, yeah you see I built a lot with experiments but yeah the building time lapse is basically over you see this is the bike uh, how it is so we can cut back to the rocket which is in orbit now and we can just fly to Duna and then Ike but first we need to reconfigure the ship like the Apollo missions did, it's, it's basically that system. The lander is underneath, we will get the lander out and dock the transfer stage to it. Now this transfer stage, you see the, it has like little fuel tanks on it. It wouldn't be needed for this mission, but just to be safe I added them uh, in there. Uh, so this ship, you haven't seen the building time lapse of this ship, because I don't have one, because I've built it a long time ago. But this is basically the universal cargo ship. Whenever you need to ship something to another planet that's a rover sized, I use this lander and this transfer stage. So here flying by Duna to get to Ike. What a beautiful shot, isn't it? And then we can just decelerate at Ike, land and start the speed challenge. Yeah, a really fast paced video this is. And Ike is one of my favorite, if not the favorite, moon in the Kerbal Space Program game. Just because uh, with the Parallax 2 mod, it has the spikes on it, you will see it later. And also, if you land on the right spot, which we do, you have a constant view on Duna. And it looks so cool, it looks like straight out of a science fiction novel or TV series or whatever, Star Wars film basically. So we can undock the lander and then begin our landing maneuver. Now one Kerbal will be in orbit, like you, you know how Apollo works by now. So you can see the bike is just slung under the lander. We have added um, a big landing gear so it won't be a problem. Um, we have enough landing gear space. So now decelerating and going for the landing. Now. I wanted to land at my base I had there, just it would be cool and there are a bunch of other Kerbals. Our special guest is waiting there, don't forget that, he's on the surface base already. So yeah, we can start the landing procedure. And first I landed a bit offshore, you saw it, but we can just boost back, we have ample fuel in this thing. Even though it drained a bit of fuel on the way here, maybe a crossfeed was enabled, I don't know. But it still has way, than, uh, way more than we need to make a landing in return. Like we could uh, journey across the whole of Ike. But here we are, you can see the surface base. I think it's one of the coolest surface bases um, ever that I've built. It has like a little rover station, parking lot with two other rovers. But yeah, we, we will see um, the, the surface base later. So we can deploy the rover and encounter our first fail today. <laughs> so yeah, now it has worked after a bunch of quick saving around. Always good to have quick saves. 
And then we can look who is in this surface space here. So get him out. Hello guys, <laughs> here we are in the live commentary. And here's another guy just randomly standing here. Hello, what do you think? How fast can we go? I think it can reach somewhere near 50 meters a second without flipping upside down or flying into an orbit. Okay, thank you a lot. I will You're appreciate welcome. it. So I will just double it and say 100. So if I die, you transport me home, okay? Well, then you're dead, so that's gonna be difficult. Yeah, true. I think I'll just take over the entire space center and we'll see from there. Exactly. I hope mission control isn't listening. So let's start here. So then back to the oh, commented footage, I guess. Bye. Or hello. Welcome back to post video editing Marvin. So uh, the, the, the guy you heard was Zenoth. We were talking a bit in the Discord and since I was recording a video, I thought we could just do a little cameo. And here I tried uh, shooting a firework rocket at the building. So, first attempt. Can we reach 50 meters a second? Or how I said, 100 meters a second. We will see. First attempt, we have nine attempts. I'm sure we will reach it. Yeah, doesn't look good from the beginning, but we have eight attempts left. Next attempt. Next attempt, next lock. Let's go. Engines are running. Kerbal is accelerating. He has no fear. But he's also pretty slow. So 15 meters a second already. Accelerating more. And we have reached 81 meters a second. So third attempt. Can we top 81 meters a second? Let's see. We are accelerating down the hill. A bit slow. But we are slow and steady. Slow and secure. We already reached 30 meters a second, but sadly we spin out of control and can't go faster than 40 meters a second. 40 meters a second is doable guys. Let's try the next attempt. So next strategy, accelerating down a hill towards the base, already looking good, but then Tretch this truck, a little bump in the ground, brought the whole thing crashing down like a train wreck. Attempt 5. Different spot, different lock, cinematic view. Let's go. Our Kerbal doesn't know what fear is. He's fearlessly accelerating down the mountain, knowing he could die, but he does not He does it anyways. That's a real man, our Kerbal here. So already reaching 21 meters a second, 22, 25. Can we reach 30? We have reached 30 meters a second and after 32 a wheel lifts off the ground. Next attempt. We have to beat 81 meters a second. Accelerating down the mountain again. 20 meters a second already reached. Fearlessly accelerating our Kerbal. 30 meters a second. But he can go faster. I know him. He can go faster. But 37.9 meters a second. The lock has left us behind. But how about the seventh attempt? Accelerating slowly but surely, looking around him if he can see a bump or something. But then, then he, his braveness wins and he accelerates down with th full thrust and he reaches 60 miles an hour, 69 meters a second, 69 meters a second. Attempt 8. After the last attempt, he's a bit frightened, but can he reach over 80 meters a second? Is it possible? Can he do the undoable? Can he reach 82 meters a second? Or maybe 90 or 100? So let's see. He's rolling down, looking around him being a bit frightened, but he's a brave Kerbal. I know that he can do it. His braveness will win over his fear and at some point he will press the gas pedal to the full extent and accelerate down the mountain. So 
Let's go, Kerbal. Let's go. I believe in you. Here he goes. And we are accelerating. 50, 60, 70. 74.5 meters a second. Still not beaten the 81. But now the last attempt. Will the last attempt bring 100 meters a second? Or will it be another fail? Let's see. So, rolling to the start position. That he can accelerate. Now accelerating. 20, 30, 40, 50. I can't even count it anymore. 80, 92 meters a second. 92.1. Absolute record. After this masterpiece, he can roll back and put it in the parking lot. And I can speak normally again and not dumb. So after that adventure, I thought it would be fun to cut all explosive action I found into two seconds of footage. So enjoy it while it lasts. Here you go. So here we are. So from the challenge, I was n nearer the result. So. But let's leave this horrible place behind. Just they, they just want to get home. Right. So they here they are lifting off the surface of Ike. The beautiful surface of Ike. Parallax 2 is amazing. So you're accelerating up. And I cut it together a bit fast. Because I mean the the main point of the video is kind of done. So docking. And then we can deorbit the lander. And after that, reorbit the, the transfer stage and get home. So here we are, orbit burn of the transfer stage. We have reached orbit again. Then we can jettison the tanks. They aren't needed anymore, they're empty now. And after that, we can get back in a beautiful shot. Beautiful. Look at that. Wow. So. Now we just have to decelerate a bit and uh, then the, the whole video is over. Um, I hope you liked it. I hope uh, you enjoyed it. My last video was also interesting. I went exploring the lunar poles. If you want to see that, click on the screen and then I say goodbye. <laughs>